Gwendolyn Brown just reacted to episode 8 of season 18 over on her Patreon. The episode titled, quote, The Writings on the Wall. The episode, which should have been sponsored by David Yerman. If you know, you know. I wanted to talk about a couple things that Gwen had to say, so let's just jump right into today's video. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, this video is going to be voice over commentary and my apologies, you guys. I'm having some work done in my office so that the air conditioning will work better in there. So at the moment, my office is under construction, but it should only be for a couple days. So I should be back in front of the camera in my next video. Gwen is a few episodes behind in her commentary over on her Patreon. So just as a brief reminder, the writings on the wall episode was mainly about Mary telling Cody that she was going to be downsizing her home in Flagstaff and moving her Lulabiz up to the B&B. She was hoping Cody would give a shit, but to nobody's surprise, he all but gave her a swift kick out the door. This is also the episode where Cody made his plea to viewers about just how much he and Robin have suffered for simply being in love. Regarding Cody and Robin, Gwen noticed the clear intentional distancing that Robin and Cody did when they got to Mary's even before they commented on it. So really? with you. I don't know where to start. Mary and I don't have a marriage, really, kind of. Robin is very sensitive to what other people see. So Robin, like, keeps her distance from me a lot when I'm around Mary. This is something that we've discussed as a family for years. Do we show affection in front of the other wives? Because other polygamists are able to, and we just have never been able to. This is the type of discussion that we've all had through the years, and that's kind of, I guess, where we came up with the conclusion that it's probably best to be a little bit more careful and a little bit more reserved in front of the other women. One says she thinks it's dumb that they think that they shouldn't be able to show affection in front of the other wives, and that that wasn't a thing before Robin came into the family. Remember, Janelle writes in their book about how awkward she felt sometimes because Cody and Mary would be all lovey-dovey in front of her. It seems like this hands-off approach really came into play with Robin. So maybe Cody isn't completely off base when he says things like they weren't even allowed to be in love. You guys still aren't the Romeo and Juliet of Flagstaff, but Gwen does provide some context to his statement. Gwen says that this made no sense to her. Why wouldn't a wife be able to be affectionate with her husband in front of other wives who know you have an affectionate relationship? For me, I wouldn't want to see that, but I also wouldn't be in a polygamous marriage. I get not wanting to see your husband in the puppy dog love stage with his new wife, who is 10 years younger than the rest of you. Mary comments in this same scene that when she was in a good place with Cody, she didn't care about him showing affection with his other wives. So were the relationships suffering and then Robin came into the family... Or did Robin coming into the family cause the original three marriages to take a nosedive? You could make valid arguments for which came first, honestly. It's really awkward because the only wife I have a relationship with right now is Robin. But we've never been allowed to essentially be in love with each other because this kind of quasi-plural marriage mess that's been going on. And now everybody else is leaving, but we still don't feel like we can expose our place of solace, our love for each other in any way. This is not a safe place for us. When Cody says that he and Robin have never been able to find solace in each other, Gwen makes a face and just says, ew, and that caused me to chuckle. The other part of this episode, Gwen was actually in, and that was when we see Garrison's house for the first time, and the plan at that time is for Gwen and Gabe to be his roommates. Garrison bought a house in Flagstaff. So we're gonna go look at it. I'm super excited. There's a discussion about Gwen and Gabe both moving in with Garrison as roommates. Is this a good idea? We don't know. I'm uh, very reticent about Gwendolyn moving in with Gabe and Garrison. Politically, they're very, 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 very different. I just think it sounds very problematic. So, so you guys need to look at the bathroom because you're gonna be sharing a bathroom. Listen, 
I have accidentally used men's restrooms. They're disgusting. So Gabe and Garrison are my biological children, and Gwen is Christine's biological child. But they still function in every respect as brother and sister. I might need to compensate for a lack of closet space, considering okay. I came out. <laughs> Gwendolyn came out of the closet as bisexual, oh my gosh, over a year ago. That went over my head until they started laughing. <laughs> You're funny. The other thing is I'll be sending you guys leases for my, just for the first set of leases, we'd have you guys be co-signers. If we all get in a fight or something, we're still, you guys are still legally bound to pay rent or something. <laughs> so. When, it's when they fight, when. Gwen had a lot of thoughts on this scene and specifically about what her mom's commentary was. Gwen's mouth is just dropped open this whole scene. She goes, um, okay, thank you for your opinion, mother. Honestly, it has to be so surreal to witness your family members talking about you. It's like being a fly on the wall during their therapy session or something. That has to be really weird. Gwen says that she and Gabe are siblings and political differences does not make for differences in the love that they have for each other as siblings. She says just because he likes a certain infrastructure doesn't mean that I dislike the kind of person that he is. And she says it in a jokey way, but she actually says that she's offended by her mother. This really had me thinking that whatever the issues are between her and Peyton, I don't think it has anything to do with Peyton's politics. Additionally, Christine thinking that maybe Gwen and Gabe and Garrison might not get along based off of their political differences might be missing the mark as far as what the real hurt is between Peyton and Gwen. If Christine is thinking maybe it's because of politics, perhaps, she just writes it off without digging deeper. I don't know. That is just me speculating. But Gwen goes on to say regarding Gabe and Garrison that they would obviously fight, but at the end of the day that they're siblings. The other thing that Gwen points out about this scene is that she doesn't think that at this point in time she had received her autism diagnosis yet. So she was still heavily compensating for what she perceives as her awkwardness. She goes on to say that her autism diagnosis was a big relief for her. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. I just thought that what Gwen had to say about Robin and Cody and their lack of being able to be affectionate was interesting context coming from one of their kids' perspectives. And then, of course, what she had to say watching what Christine had to say about her relationships with her brothers. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Check out my second channel, Sarah Spills. A link for that will be in the description of this video. Follow me on Instagram, threads, and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.